Hey friends, what's up? It is Doug and welcome to another edition of Spooky Villages. And before I talk about the Limax Helga's hats, I wanted to give a very special shout out to my friend Carter. How's it going, buddy? Um, Carter's a young man who watches this channel and uh, I spoke to his dad and Carter, I wanted to say what's up and thank you for watching, buddy. All right, guys, here I have the Limax Michaels exclusive. This is Helga's hats. This is actually my second attempt to do this. Uh, my second version of this building that I got, the first one, um, Michael's actually had completely, I mean, it, the, the, it was exploded in the box pretty much. So, um, doing it again, this one is totally intact though, so it's all good here. I actually picked this one up at my local store. The local store did get some of the Michael's exclusives in stock, actually, and some of the other buildings as well. They had a display, very light though on inventory this year. I wound up going to four local to me, and they all had the same buildings available. So, they, they were not, um, you know, stocking some of the some of the exclusives or some of the regular buildings, they had very limited inventory, but I did get Helga's hats, so I wanted to talk about it. Um, before I do here, just a, you know, a big thank you to all of you guys. I just wanted to give a thank you to all the support. This has been a really fun season for me on Spooky Villages. I've really been hitting it hard. I've never really done it like this, where I'm posting a bunch of, you know, a bunch of uh, uh, reviews and different kinds of videos, everything like that. I've done it more than once a week. And I'm not going to be able to keep up this pace the whole time, but it's been fun doing the live cast and everything. Hope you guys have been um, enjoying those. I just wanted to give a big thank you. I just appreciate it. It's fun answering the comments and chatting with you guys. Um, it's really helped my enjoyment of the season. And I, I've just been having a lot of fun, I guess. I, I've been very enthused. I hope you can tell. It's been a tough year with like inventory and everything. And everybody's just kind of rolling with it. I'm rolling with it too, so... Hope you guys are having fun. It's a fun hobby, right? And um, all right, with that said, let's get into Helga's hats. Okay, guys, here it is. Check this out. There are no, uh, there's no soundtrack on this, no animation. So what I'm going to do is in a minute here, I will show you what it looks like lit up just with some static images. Um, but before we do that, let's talk about some of the details on here because this is a well done piece with a lot of details in it. Of course, this is a witch piece. There's been a couple of them this year. I would like to do... The big tower, I just have not been able to get my hands on it uh, thus far, FYI. That building does look awesome. But uh, this one here, Helga's hat. So check this out. I'm gonna roll around it here. And it is that of a hat shop. That is the theme of this. Of course, uh, Department 56 fans or just people who watch this channel um, will remember the hat shop, uh, Hattie's hat shop, Department 56 did a couple of years ago. I'll talk about that in a moment and compare them. But I wanna close here there's a lot of details on this piece Limax did a good job here i think witch fans will be happy of course this one is a um it's not bulb lit it actually the lighting on it's actually quite good there's no animated lighting or no pulsing or anything but there's multiple colors and i think the multicolor thing really does help enhance these static pieces to where you know the bulb lit houses are are a hot topic some people love them some people don't like them they're not as fun to video for me uh, I really do like some of the standard lit pieces, though, to display, but I think that this one kind of bridges the gap for the people that like the more, you know, I guess the basic lit stuff, um, but they, they they don't want all the crazy lighting, and I understand why. Some people don't want a strobe light that some of these, you know, some of these pieces can be pretty crazy. Uh, they don't want that taken away from the display. This one here, though, I think is just very well lit. I think uh, you'll see here in a moment, the tiered lighting is, is good for it, um, but really quick here, there's a lot of like little signs and stuff on this one. And of course you have the witch, black cat. Another one here, you've got a nice scene that I would call it an internal scene, but it's not really internal because it's external, but still really nice scene up here. Again, it's the hat shop. I love the theming here. And it looks like they're, I guess, doing a fitting here. Sorry if you can't see that well, but um, it's lit up. It looks great. Uh, let's show it lit up here actually. I've said it multiple times this year, but Limex really got the memo they must have, but the criticisms of overdoing just the green and yellow, you know, lighting, because so many pieces just had those, because this year you have so many multi-tiered lighting, and just adding that purple in 
really does help. And of, of course, I think purple works great in any witch piece. I'll flash some of the different details in here, but you can see this piece lit up though. It does look great. I think many of you witch fans are gonna really enjoy this one. And there are so many people out there, I know from talking to a bunch of you who are the hardcore, you know, the witch fans who really have like a witch centric uh, theme for your, your village. This one is gonna go great for it because the hat shop, a witch hat shop is fantastic. So let's talk about Hatties just for a moment here, Department 56 piece from a couple of years ago. Which do I think is better? Well, I think personally Hatties is better, but um, that's actually close. And I think that's up for debate. I personally just like the purple lighting on Hatties and the, you know, it's kind of a bigger piece, a little bit more detail, but the pricing of this one compared to Hatties is way, way better. I mean, you're talking like a hundred bucks cheaper almost. So I, you know, for that, you know, for that difference, I don't know what you say one is better or not. I can tell you they're both quality pieces. So power wise on here, just really quick, it's got this, uh, you know, you can put batteries in it if you want on the back, it's got the switch. I was using a power adapter for this one. I found it's easier to use those power adapters, but yeah. And one last thing on the detail I do want to talk about, the little hanging spider here, I love it. It's uh, very thematic and I like spiders on everything. All right guys, hey, that's it. This is a very well done static piece, which fans I think are gonna like it. Great lighting on it, doesn't have animation or a soundtrack, but I think it's a very well executed piece. So you guys sign off below. Let me know what do you guys think of this uh, of this piece here because I think Lee Max has done a really good job on these static lit pieces this year. Um, really across the line, you know, from what I've personally seen, I haven't seen everything, but I thought this year had a lot of hype going into it. And I personally think it's lived up to it actually so far. So let me know what you guys think below. I'm always curious um, to know, you know, uh, you know what you guys are what you guys are feeling about everything. So hey, thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you soon.